Hello and welcome. Paul here and I'm playing Floorband. Now as you can see here, the Kingdom of Swadia and the Rodok Republic have signed a trade agreement, so that should help in making us a richer kingdom, which would be very nice indeed. Hopefully increase our troops, things like that, because we've got the uh, wealth. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Good relations never hurt. Anyway, I'm currently holed up in Halmar. Oh, never mind. Beautiful, okay, so I was held up in Halmar and uh, the enemy came to attack it, to lay siege to it, to capture it. But luckily for us, my allies were on the ball and actually came to defend, so that's nice. I feel like things are really coming together now, but now that I've said that, it's going to fall apart. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'm still pretty wounded. I'm going to wait here for the moment and heal up. I'd quite like to take another castle if given the opportunity. Um, I'll tell you what. Okay, she's going to follow me. We are going to try our luck at this place. Well, actually, no, that, that place actually has a lot of people there. Maybe we'll go for this one. Then again, I, I mean, it's Lady Isola, she's got 460 troops, you know. That's a lot. Ah, uh, that's a siege tower. Ah, that's not good. Okay, Halmar's under siege again. Let's head back. Oh no, the enemy's gone. Alright. Wait, no, they're still here. They're still here. Alright, where's Lady Osola? They really want to take this place. Oh, I want to see if she can get in range. To help me. See, he's just come here and reinforced this place. Which isn't good. But we still have roughly the even amount of numbers, so... What if we were to try and siege it? It's a siege tower. Never mind. I'd say that back. If it's a siege tower, it's not worth our time, if I'm totally honest. Well, you know what? It's fine. I'm just happy that we've... God damn, these manhunters don't mess around. <laughs> You know, I'm just happy we've taken something and... Whoa, we lost Sharas? Damn. This is the only problem. I did not see that message pop up that it was under siege. And it wouldn't surprise me if Halmar gets attacked again. Keeping an eye on here. Yep, yeah, just got besieged as well. Okay. We're going to lose Halmar. And again, maybe not. Lady Isola isn't here, but... I mean... If we fight, recapture... Sharas, then make our way back to Halmar. And if we keep going back and forth, maybe we can hold them? I'm not sure though. God, this is horrible, all these arrows trying to pierce us. Come on, Ang Angrel showed some promise in that last uh, last battle. Let's see if I can re repeat it. I ain't gonna be able to do anything if I don't get up.
There we go. Come on, lads. There we go. Go on, lads. Push. Push. There we go. There we go. Not good. got me in the end. Alright, that didn't go as I'd have planned. Alright, here's what we do. We abandon the siege. I pull back. On the off chance, we may run into Lady Isola. No, unfortunately she left. I'd have sent her to Shara's while I went to Halmar. But, um... What we're gonna do instead, we're gonna go after Halmar. We're gonna make sure we can try and defend it. I don't know if we can at this point, but we're gonna try. And then we'll basically just see what happens after that. That's all I can do at this point. Do our best to, uh... Keep control. Halmar's no longer under siege. Okay, that's good. That means we've got friendlies in the area that have basically scared the enemy off. So I know they're coming now, but that's fine. We lost Shares. I've just weakened Shares a little bit. I might be able to get some troops together and go after it. But, uh... Enough time should have passed that some mercenaries have turned up. So I'm going to quickly see... Yes, there we go. Every little helps when trying to bolster our defences. Let's wait here, I'll heal up. And we're going to try and defend. There we go, friendlies have turned up. Perfect, perfect. Alright, can I catch one of these guys out? Oh. No allies jumped in to help, so I'm just going to let them go. Alright, here we go, there we go, there we go. There we go, we got them. We got them good. We take these guys out. I don't know if we're actually attacking, but... Oh, that's right, I remember this, that we do a standoff. There was no point in me actually fighting, I better order my troops to attack. I end up losing some, but if I have to go in on my own... We're not going to win that. Either way, it's fine. Battle won. We got rid of one of the people that harassing Halmar. Hopefully they'll get some proper troops here soon. Actually, you know what we can do? Excuse me, ladies. Damn.
Maybe I can convince one of the others to go after. I don't think Grainwad would listen. Oh, they've just made peace, damn. But you know what? Okay, so we've just made peace, we lost Shariz. Is that really an issue though? I mean, we ended up capturing Weyer Castle. We took Halmar back, we still got a bunch of territory. Now we've got some breathing room. We can reinforce everything we've got and yeah. So that's not a bad thing. All right, in that case then. I will head back to Dirim. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be at war with Shariz, uh, the Kyrgyz Khanate again. It just seems to be our rivals at the moment. Because they're not on the scale of the Rodox or the Nords. They're kind of like us, even though they're bigger than us, but we're kind of like even in military power, I'd say. Oh man. Okay. Let's see, I still want to, you know, upgrade people, so... I mean, yeah, this is going to cost me a whole bunch, but it's fine, I can afford it. As long as it means we keep this castle, that's all that matters to me. So I'm going to go through this list. Every rank 4 infantry I have that isn't like, I mean, rank 5 cavalry I may as well put up. But all rank 3 stuff we're going to want to increase. The Saranids, oh, I don't really want him, but... Well, he's fully upgraded. You know, we'll just upgrade the Swadians at this point. Forget everyone else. Forget all the mercenaries that are like low rank. That's fine. Do I hand in the high ranking mercs? I'll keep them for now. Almost at 1,000 troops in Durham. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I guess I'll go around and recruit. I mean, a bit of a loose end now on what I should be doing. Ooh, what can I do with this village? I guess I did um, build a, a manor. A manor will let you rest at the village and pay your troops half wages while you rest. Eh, that's not really useful. About a mill. Increases the village prosperity at 5%. That's not bad. I mean, 5% may not sound like much, but when you add it all together, I mean, it's going to add up, isn't it? So... Let us... Move. We'll head up here and I'll recruit from a couple of these villages. I'll probably get some higher rank troops in one go. The ones around Sunno. Kind of wish we do go after Sunno at some point. That's going to be a weird one because at the very least I'd want it to go into the hands of Lady Isola. But if she happens Everything to... Has a price. Oh crap. If she happens to give it to anyone else though, we... I'm going to have to let it drop and then... Yeah, okay, we've got plenty of cavalry right here, so we're just going to charge in. My health is taking a long time to regen though. I also need a new horse. This horse is wounded.
Hell, I don't even need to be involved in this fight. My allies have it. I swear to God, I thought he was an ally. Oh, uh, yeah, I thought he was like one of my troops. That's why I ignored him. Because I thought I was fighting forest bandits who were all going to be mounted. <laughs> what a mistake. What a mistake. He got me square in the chest with that attack. Oh, my God. All right, well, it honestly doesn't matter. My troops are kicking ass. That looked painful, that did. That uh, looked bloody painful. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I think ever since I maxed out the AI difficulty, or combat speed or whatever it was the enemy in every game I play have just been hit me back really hard and my troops aren't nearly as effective as they once were but we're still managing it somehow we're still managing it So this is good. We'll, we'll take out these bandits and I'll keep making my way there. Damn, they're still coming. They're still fighting. Alright, we're going to back out of this fight. It's going on for too long. I'm just going to straight up leave. I don't have the troops ready to fight. Well, that may have been a mistake if the enemy catches up to me. It seems I'm going to have a bunch of archers, though, who will be ready for the battle when it pops up next. So we'll have to make use of them. Looks like we're getting away. See what I mean about getting relations up with the villagers and able to recruit mass amounts? That probably didn't help me though, I think it just slowed me down. Oh, this is very bad, I can't fight. Oh my god, what a mistake that was. Oh, I can now fight, thank god. How many archers did I lose? I can do here, but get him to basically just bunch up as much as possible. Get ready, lads, get ready. And an arrow managed to slip through. Give me a break. We killed those guys, but my problem is my guys aren't going to charge now. 
My cavalry will, though. Give it a second. See what my cavalry guy can do. Alright, we're going to have to back out. That infantry was pretty effective, but the problem is, is that they're not going to be pushing forward, so... How are my troops not defeating them straight away? I should have better troops, I don't get it. Everything has a price. Ugh. Even your life. We're just gonna have to lose the party morale and deal with it. That's unfortunate. again. I'll spend a bit of time around this area and heal up I guess, probably recruit a few more people. I don't need to do too much in the way of recruiting. You know what I might do? Because at this point I feel that my castle is pretty well defended so I may focus on just trying to get troops to follow me around uh, ready for battle. Maybe just recruit high end mercenaries or train up Swadians all the way. That way when we do go to war we've got an army ready to take castles and fight whoever we need to. I think that's the best use of my time at the moment. I could go around and get troops to give to my allies but I don't know. I mean, I guess that is actually not a bad idea. Maybe give a bunch of troops to Lady Isola. Huh. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time.